Tonight, there are answers in a complex investigation spanning the country over at least three decades thanks to DNA testing. Now we need to try to identify and find all of his victims. Known in New Hampshire as Bob Evans, he lived with then-girlfriend Denise Bowden and her infant daughter in Manchester in 1981. Bowden was never seen again, but investigators say he kept the girl with him for years. And around the time she was five or six, he gave her away to some people in California. More than 30 years later, DNA led police to Bowden's former home, which until recently had never been searched because she was never reported missing. Bowden's daughter, who now has a family of her own, got a DNA test which proved Evans was not her father. A national DNA data bank paired her with a cousin in New Hampshire last summer. Family recognized Evans helping police make the connection eventually learning that he worked as the head electrician at the Wombach Mill. Mr. Evans worked directly under the gentleman who owns the Allenstown property where these victims were found and still owns it. DNA also playing a crucial role in the murders of a woman and three girls found in barrels in Allenstown. Two were discovered in 1985, the others in 2000. Through DNA testing, we've determined that this man, this killer, Bob Evans, is the father of the middle child victim in Allenstown, this young girl. But the identities of these four victims remains a mystery. While DNA testing can provide information on people and who they're related to, it doesn't always show names. So unless their, their DNA profile, their genetic profile, is in a, a database of some sort, you're not going to get the identity. Denise Bowden's daughter, who is married with three children now, has been reunited with New Hampshire relatives. In a statement, she asked for privacy and wants the attention to now focus on the unidentified and potentially unknown victims. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.